Hey guys, Manny here. And in this video, I'm gonna talk about the most recent pickups that I've made for the month of uh, April and May. If you're new to this channel, please consider liking and subscribing for more content like this. All right, so um, I'm keeping this a little short uh, as opposed to the ones I've made. Uh, and what I mean by that in my videos, apologies if I'm not being um, so articulate right now. And the reason for that is because my collection and backlog has been uh, increasing and um, I it's really not getting out of hand so to speak it's just that um, because of my job and other commitments I have I just don't really have that much time to uh, play uh, some of these games that I would like uh, in my spare time but uh, nevertheless when I see like a good deal that's around uh, when I go to a, a brick and mortar store or a garage sale or a GameStop you know what I'm saying um, I'll try to uh, pick it up if, if I do have the income or the money on, on me. So um, I'm going to go ahead and start uh, with the first game. And um, this is one that really holds a little bit of uh, sentimental value because it, it is one of my personal favorites. And that's um, Super Mario Brothers 2 for the NES. And I find this more entertaining than 1 and 3, believe it or not. And the reason for that is because uh, you get to choose between the four characters, uh, Mario, Luigi, Toad, and Toadstool. And each character plays uh, really differently. Um, so each have their own mechanics, their own abilities. So I feel like this game has a lot more replay value, replay value, excuse me, than one and three on this uh, console. So uh, most people would argue that three is the superior title, which I do agree with. But as far as like playability, um, you'll see me play this more than three. So. Um, this was pretty cool. Surprisingly, I've actually played, I paid, excuse me, more uh, for this um, and not too much, um, but I can recall that one in three were sparingly cheap when I picked them up. Maybe it just has to do with the market, but who knows? So I'm going to stick with Nintendo and uh, move things a little bit more currently with the Switch. And um, this game deal, I actually picked up at uh, GameStop. So they had a little promotion. And the two games that I picked up are uh, Xenoblade Chronicles 3 and Autopack Traveler 2. Now, again, uh, I've probably said this on this channel before, but I'm not a big RPG fan. Um, I do appreciate them. It's just that they just devote so much time. But I still under understand why people are so fond of them because it's just a big, deep level story and characters uh, that you get to play and follow along with within some of these games. So I couldn't pass them up. Um, and I actually saved a ton um, because normally these games uh, really retail for like 60 bucks and if it was like a one one off thing like you buy one game and you get a uh, 50% off so I wasn't sure which one was cheaper and I don't have the receipt to tell you that right now but all, all I can say is I got a good steal or what in my eyes I got a good steal I know um, GameStop is not notorious for handing out uh, decent promotions but I what I felt was a good deal um, I took advantage of so it's these two games here and then we'll leave off with the last Nintendo Switch title, and that's uh, Metroid Prime Remastered. And it's the same game that was released way back in the Nintendo GameCube era. And the Nintendo GameCube was one of my all-time favorite consoles. I still have the Nintendo GameCube version of this game. And once uh, Nintendo Shadow dropped this, I was like way surprised and blown away by it. Uh, so much so that uh, I think uh, the titles or the physical copies were all sold out and um, I had to wait a few months uh, to grab my hands on this. Worth the wait, uh, that's all I can say. If you haven't picked up uh, Metroid Prime, please do so. Uh, it's a unique title in my mind uh, as opposed to other Nintendo franchises. Um, you take uh, control of Samus uh, and her, her uniqueness in the world uh, that you're exploring. Um, and it's first person, so um, this is a pretty cool game. Like I said, I hold it to my heart. And so if you haven't tried it, shame on you. Just give it a shot. You might, you might be surprised in this. All right, the last game that I want to talk about is Resident Evil 4 for the PS5. Um, again, another game that I can really speak emotionally to uh, because again, it holds a special place in my heart. Oh, I have my cat's here. Sorry about that, uh, my cat, she just was hungry and I don't, it was kind of random, so it just threw me off, but um, I don't know what I've said about this game. 
Uh, but let me, if I sound like a broken record, I apologize. But um, if you haven't played Resident Evil 4, please do so. It is completely remade all the way up to the mechanics, the controls, the graphics, even the story. Um, I do appreciate how Capcom like uh, explored a little bit uh, with the relationships between uh, Leon and all these other characters. And I like, and I do like it in the way they did it because it um, raises a lot more questions uh, as far as like the main story goes. Now, I don't want to spoil too much or say too much because you probably already heard it or you've already played this game just based on the sales numbers uh, that this game has already generated. But if you haven't, um, I do recommend you do so. Uh, whichever console I believe is fine. It's also available on PC. So um, yeah, you got, you got some options here. So check it out, Resident Evil 4. Okay, so one more thing that I want to talk to you guys about, and that is the Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom OLED Switch model. And big shout out to my big bro who snatched up the pre-order on the day it was announced because I couldn't and I was busy at work. Uh, so there was no way of reaching it in time. Um, fortunately for me uh, and for a lot of others who are in search of a, a OLED Switch, uh, depending on the recording of this video, um, I think there's still um, stock. Uh, so if you go to a Best Buy or a GameStop, you might have a chance or a puncher's chance of snatching one up. Um, I do recommend it, especially if you're coming from a original Switch or a Switch Lite and you wanna see something better on the handheld mode in terms of like screen quality. Um, I do will tell you this, that the, the Joy-Con grips are a little bit different or feel a little bit more pristine. Um, there is a difference in quality um, in them um, because you know you just have to get your hands on it uh, just to see uh, how it feels. Um, not only that, I do feel like the colors um, are pretty vibrant, even though my camera doesn't capture like the essence on, on, on the gold and the greens and the whites there. Um, you should try to see if you could get your hands on it or see it uh, in person uh, before you make a purchase or think about making the jump. But that's it. Uh, all my big game pickups for the month of uh, April and May. Okay, so there you have it, my most recent pickups. What do you think? Did I get some good buys here? Drop down in the comments and drop down uh, what you guys picked up. I would love to spark that conversation with you all. And if you made it this far in the video, please consider liking and subscribing. I am currently at 139 subscribers. So uh, yeah, and I'm taken back by that. So who knows, maybe I'll reach 200 one day, but um, that doesn't happen unless, you know, y'all continue watching. So. Uh, please do that, all right, for me, okay? Um, take care, guys. I'll see you on the next one.